you know, the whole the whole thing is crazy. Okay, so why should I ask myself why was this thing even allowed and so on? Let's just continue with this. At least police helped me out a lot. Zgersh police helped me out a lot. In a strange ways, in a strange ways, but this is a big help. I consider this is a big, big help. What is she saying in the Russian language? I don't know how you want to call this kind of situation. I have no idea what to find a word for it. How long did her business exist? <laughs> I think she tells me like a week or a month or something like that. A ghost tour. I am unsure and I walk away. Later on, however, I don't know. Should I write myself one off or neutral, whatever you want to call this? Just like a jewelry shop. I didn't ask her about the story yet, though. I'll have to return back. I am back inside of the alcohol shop. The alcohol shop is something I gotta write myself off. Something I'm gonna give myself a minus. Even about, even despite the stuff I have told you about. Uh, and I guarantee you that is the fact. Nobody verified me anything like this yet. I might eventually go next time again and ask the neighbors about the stuff I told you. But that's not going to make a change really. Uh, I did make a mistake. So let's continue. I can't get over of it. The alcohol shop. It's just... For me this always was a club sportive tree with a little alcohol stuff inside. The truth is, however, that there is a lot of alcohol right now. The thing, however, is that business owners, the way the business works, I had my own store, I had my own business in Miami. Usually what you do is you adjust yourself to the market. If people are looking a lot for certain products, you enlarge those and you reduce other products and so on. Especially this is true in this kind of business when it comes to the food, alcohol and stuff like that. And so I kind of assumed that eventually the store developed a lot and they changed things from the way it was. 
the problem is one side of the store, the store, this, the, the side of the store that I didn't like, still very much looks like the same, like like it did back in the wall that they didn't change much. So that's a trouble. I am finally in another store. Um, this is wow store that was the store we were coming already in 2005, 2006, and I remember the knees from Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, I remember other girls. I remember them. I remember everybody was they looked Americans they looked at this natural products at this um, natural like sophisticated uh, snack bars and stuff like this basically and like kind of a homemade type natural stuff granulas and stuff like this they everybody was crazy about this stuff about this natural products there only was a problem that supposedly they were on a budget the girls were not on a budget the girls were not doing this kind of crazy stuff it was the guys that were uh evaluating this as uh, immigration facility to become uh, also they also had the money it just it depended who was around you know if their others are not around, they would take me to a, a really good place, I regularly buy themselves the best pastry when we would be walking to, to Zgirsh, you know, and would not even share that stuff with me, which is, excuse was, I'm not supposed to share this with you, sorry. Like, anybody would find out if you gave me or not, stuff like that whatever how they got the money was funny because they 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 came with the money and they would literally give to another stuff mk ultra staff member that would come to greet them and stuff like this then they would go through the checkpoint and then they would give them the money back the next thing you see in 2005 the money exchanged open right there in Zgirsh in a little bit i'm gonna come to that issue too why do you think it opened in 2005 because of me, because of us, because we were coming here, because of Americans, because of the presence. In Zgersh, this is like a small city. This is not a big city, like a big... Americans would be coming there, like, it would be like... What? I mean... There is no people over there that it would be like... You would go and open shop like this, maybe in Wurch, in, in like a big city or something like that. But this shop opened actually exchange money exchange shop opened right there in 2005 in Zgirsh which is like super extraordinary in this exact same street but I'll get to that but this store of course I have recognized okay now the girls did buy themselves some goodies from there uh, they like this kind of sophisticated natural stuff uh, the guys however they were more economically oriented and interested in other stuff but of course I recognized a special section in this store, in this like, it's not a pharmacy shop, like apotheca type of, you know, natural, not everything natural, just in this section, which I memorized 100%. I knew exactly who I am dealing with. I recognized the lady. The lady was nervous whether I'm going to recognize her in the store. I did. I'm looking at the store. I'm looking at this goodies. You know, I know immediately where I am. Two thousand and five. It was. It was. 
And not only that I ask about if the store was in 2005 and 2006, as it was, but I'm also asking about the section of the store, of this apotheca, about this pharmacy store, if you like, that was a reserved um, pharmacy store. What does she has over there? Stuff like this. I am especially asking about this side of the store that had this goodies, natural goodies, granulas and stuff like this, whatever, um, natural stuff, which, like I said, always was, unfortunately, was always too expensive. I know this section of the store especially because of the issues I mentioned. I remind her of how we used to come here and then I tell her you always had this and she is laughing uh, she agrees with me uh, there always was only one problem I told her we didn't have enough money for it and she's laughing what the idea is basically to make people laugh I remind them of what happened here, what went on. So this is again 100% hit. So this is 12 stores identified in some with the business people. To this lady, I will definitely come back and ask her if she, rem she reminds me. You definitely can expect me. Uh, I am going to stop by and ask you. Uh, if you maybe since the last time I was here when I was asking about your story if by any chance you do remember me and Americans when we used to come especially I will do in this street this because this really was authentic Americans that were coming here I'm not gonna say with me I was coming with them in 2004 2005 2006 Especially it's why. Where am I now? I don't even know. On the street. This is the store again. I am not completely sure. I am a little bit confused about this store. I am totally confused about this store. Very, very confused about this store. I cannot recall. This is a store right next to that shop. I cannot recall this. I cannot recall this story. I'm all confused. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with it. I cannot recall this. Uh, this is again confusion. Um, I didn't know where I would sort this store out. Uh, this I am just about to learn 
when I twist, when I pull out totally, 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 totally wrong memories. Um, the ones from 2017, uh, it totally messes me up and actually like I said I mean this kind of stuff is like demonstrating basically to me this is just demonstrating how primitive Donald Trump is I just want to be like this about this is nothing it's nothing glorious about him there's nothing glorious about this individual I, I cannot tell you anything of glorious about him, unfortunately. This is the only one who would allow the stuff like this that you're about to hear right now would be like a really, really primitive. This is like a primitive, like like a douchebag, like a total douchebag. That you know actually that you're doing this to your fellow American citizen, like this. Actual individual who is from the same town as Melania Trump is the same age. The one you have actually taken, I'm not going to say the wife from one because I was not interested in marrying her, going back with her to Slovenia. This is what not I was interested, but this is how you met her. So this is to me like totally primitive that it, you would go and you would do this stuff like this. It's bizarre. Again, I greet the lady. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm all confused in this store. I cannot picture one anywhere in 2004, 2005. Can't picture one anywhere. I walk out of that store. I walk out of that store again I don't know just like the other store I have spoken about I don't know I have no idea I don't know where to place one I walk out of that store right now we have 12 businesses identified at 100% identified all the way to the year even 2004 2005 2006 We have one business, jewelry, that I have not identified uh, properly. All their owners, 20 years already exist, but they moved to this location in 2015. And we have an alcohol shop, which I had definitely made a mistake, if you like, I did. I'm going to try to make it up for that mistake with a lot of other information, but this is the situation right now. So let's say we have one minus and we have 1200% pluses. Boom. The money exchange shop was open in a lot of demo of 2005. That means in 2004. So I have just hit the money exchange shop almost year of the opening. It was open in 2004 and I asked her if it was in 2005. You see, this is the shop I'm talking about, the money exchange shop, which opened because of us in Sgersh. And I try to recall, I try to remind the lady whom I'm going to go see next time as well. See if I get a confirmation from her, if she remembers me. 
if she remembers me, if she remembers how we used to come. At this point in time, stuff that you watch right now is still not available on the internet of people watching this and hopefully that I actually get confirmation from her. All the stuff I have told you about, I try to give her refreshment because I will do this next time. She is laughing this and that, but it would be nice if I would get some more out of this lady. That would be a big thing for me. It was not only that, that MK Ultra step members would come and exchange here. We were like a small fish. Oh, you had, you had wealthy people here, business people, all kinds of people. This business, this place was the first time from the fall of the Soviet Union, from the Iron Curtain that actually started to breed life. You have no idea how it was here. Uh, the best description would be probably the gentleman here who had uh, the store, uh, as I have identified another location here. Um, it was the son of the owner. Uh, it was such a difficult situation here. In 2003, when we came here, it was so difficult, the situation that even with these wealthy people that were here, you know, with American dollars, you have no idea what American dollars were here in 2003. I mean, this was like a wonder, like a magic. Um, he said, if I could only renovate this room here, if I could only, uh, you know, change, I don't know what he did. He changed, he ch it's got something to do with the back of this room inside of this house. I have to go see this, actually, so I can tell exactly what was changed. I'm not allowed to go inside of the house, but he showed me. There was this room, and he did something. He changed this wall, uh, whatever he did. I would have to go and see it. If I could only repair this stuff, fix this, renovate this portion, this of the house, um, I would be more than happy to do, to actually, it's going to pay off this store. So it's like a little investment he did. He opened this store, Spozici, this food store here in Estonia. Like I said, maybe 200 meters from our center. And boy, that store helped him out renovate the whole house. Because very soon he learned that the money that he invested a little bit, whatever he had, he invested into this, into this little store. And then he would have these wealthy people come and they would buy from him. Donald Trump was a very good friend with these people. Know him very well. Um, how he was more than pleased. He was more than happy than what he did. Then he bought more and more and more. And actually, even today, he has his own store and he's doing very well. You have no idea what American dollar was. And you had people that one individual, the politician, eventually gave the lady here in Zgirsh on the market. I don't think those were Polish Zloty. I think he actually gave her real dollars. He gave her, I think it was either 200. Now I don't know whether they were Zloty or dollars. And then he gave her a hundred more. So you're talking about 300, maybe even dollars. And they talked about that Americans were giving the money like this out to the people. It was a life that came to this, to this place, folks. You have no idea. We are talking about here, 2004, 2005, when this came to life, this money exchange. Israelis were also there. Shekels, I will not forget. Uh, 
She said, what she said 15 years since this was, I don't remember. I know that she remembers very well, okay. I am just trying, I'm just joking in with her and I'm trying to make me, you know, see if she's gonna say something. Next time I'll definitely stop at your place and see maybe if you remember something. If you remember me and if you remember people who had shekels and dollars with them, having me with them. Stuff like this you do not forget. This was the 13th store identify. Uh, I cash already 13th store here, all the way to 2005. Um, across the street, you're gonna hear me. I talk something about 2013 Tesco. No, 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 no. Ruskinis, including my neighbor. I, you know, I don't like to use this word uh, Russians. You know, we hear this Russian meddling and this. This is some. This is one thing. Russian meddling in the U.S. elections and in the elections of other European nations and stuff like this definitely is real. Uh, but the stuff I'm doing, you know, this stuff. Now this stuff is so idiotic. This places Russia as a country, as a state, as a nation, like in a line of nations that are like I would say like. It's very bad, and I don't like to use the word Russian here, okay? And I don't really know what to use anymore. I am just puzzled with what to use because this, this shit is so primitive. It's so hateful. This is so primitive, so hateful, because it seems like these people did nothing but leave for the hatred. They leave to kill these Polish people here, rape their women, and I guess to make my life miserable, something like this. This is how they saw their might i guess and it hurts me when i when i say russian because really this is so primitive russia have never ever landed on a level of primitivity as it did under vladimir putin it is so stupid that it actually hurts they would drag me inside of this tesco store which was by the way built in i believe 2015 Americans would panicked about it for two reasons. One reason was that where I am right now at, it should have been done already in 2017. <laughs> uh, but it took me two years, obviously longer to come here, to get me here, basically. It was not easy to get me here. In 2015, this is the store you're not going to even talk about. You're not going to talk about. They panicked because it was a new store. You see, this is very difficult. You're talking between 2002 and all the way 2019. That's no less than 17 years of changing city. And you are not talking about the Russian meddling here. You're, you're talking about Russians basically having a complete authority to do with me in front of these owners, which was actually even worse thing is on, uh, as if they only would done this with me. If they would have done it with me, that's one thing. But doing the shit like this with me in front of the business owners, in front of the people who own businesses inside of the city, so the people spread the word around. It's like a terror, like terrorizing the whole Polish state, basically, with this kind of stuff at my expense. Maybe that's why they have done it. And that's what I'm saying. This is so stupid. This is so primitive that it actually hurts for me to say Russia. Because I cannot believe a country like this would land uh, in a level, in a primitive level like this. It is so, so stupid to live for nothing else than a hatred to cause harm to the people this is really bad bad commercial for the russia difficult for americans alone because of this environment changing because it's, now you have a new store coming up obviously this one you're not gonna mention don't mention this one you don't see don't talk about it in 2015 however also i was brought inside 
because the store was finished and the neighbor Donna Collins already started to brainwash don't you remember when we were here don't you remember don't you remember and it was done in a such a way that you're not gonna make it you're not gonna make it under MK Ultra you're not gonna make it so it's done in a such a disgusting way for you to what are you gonna believe in what you are told now by the Russian by the this Slovenian neighbor over there across the street or simply you're not gonna make it you're not gonna make it boy you're not gonna make it just like this you're not gonna make it si že pozabo si že pozabo si že pozabo fant ne bo ti uspelo ne bo ratalo ne bo nothing is gonna happen you're not gonna make it and laughing on top of that you know this is what this is the type of shit you're dealing with and then you get electroshocks and stuff like this and a nice little mixture so you know when you think about that kind of stuff this isn't exactly a pleasant stuff to think about um i left this stuff behind i don't leave in that kind of stuff but i'm thinking about also what it takes for you to tell people one thing uh, and then do something completely else now I'm talking about Donald Trump and actually even blame people business owners people that they allow this stuff how could they possibly allow this stuff that I did not allow you in this and that you did this without my presence but it was my presence and so on oh a lot of nice issues uh, Tesco is going to be the store for which I'm going to take a credit all I gotta go is basically to pick up yes for 2015 that was actually open in 2015 this is gonna be my 14th store uh, let's continue to the next location in 2015 they were all confused not for me to talk about obviously because and they anticipated I would be in 2017 in 2017 Americans alone insisted now that I will have to tell it was built in 2015 open so you know this is not easy this is this is not easy folks for them was confusing enough they were not exposed to MK Ultra they had written information wrong and they did not know how to see these things anymore, so. 2015. They insisted Ruskis for 2010. Don't you remember? As soon as I came in the store, I have found myself in a total brainwash. I mean, this was like a heavy duty brainwash and a setup, a feral setup. Listen to this stuff now. I'm 100% correct. I think. Ten jest 
Bielsko je tutaj, to je od celka od trech lat. A na druge strane je ile lat malo. Nije mišonec. Do you know what kind of a crap this is? Hey, <laughs> man. Ah, good day to you, lady. Uh, your store, I'm in right now. We were coming here from the U.S. and so on. Uh, already since 2003, 2005 and so on. And I'd like to ask you, I'm watching and seeing what changed into this, in the city. And I have observed your shop. I think I just want to refresh my memory. Your shop was open, if I'm correct already in 2005 and then in 2000 and I think I said 15 uh, something like this I'm sorry uh, let's do this again your shop uh, the, the shop across the street on the other side of the street is the shop that was already open in 2005 uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the same company like your shop. You would not know anything. You would not know anything. It's nowhere posted that would be the name that you could see. It's the same shop or anything like this. Nothing like this. This is brainwash, a thorough, thorough brainwash. So just listen to what I'm talking about. Um, and your shop since that one opened already in 2005 and your shop uh this is the shop that uh have opened sometimes in 2015 because the owner of the shop across the street was so impressed he was doing so well with the business that he finally decided to open also um your shop this is the diarrhea the brainwash that ruskinis gave me thoroughly have brainwashed me and have occasionally also opened the shop across the street where i was but i again when i was inside of that shop i could not find myself anywhere in 2005 i could not find myself anywhere in the memory in that shop but as i go across the street you see i did not identify that store when i was across the street because i couldn't find myself anywhere I couldn't identify this shop across the street and I couldn't identify uh, the other shop also. I could not. I'm still, I was lost. But now I'm in this shop and now this diarrhea, this, this MK Ultra brainwash Russians, it is so powerful. They came up with a scenario that I have told you about that I am so certain I'm inside of the store. In, out, in, out, they had me over there. Uh, that I give her this kind of scenario. Now, lady is fascinated because, you know what? Her store, store that we're in right now, was open in 2013. This is the store that was open in 2013. And the shop across the street on the other side, for the one I say that was the first one in 2005, and then this one opened in, I don't know, 2015, 2017, um, eventually is the shop that exists no more than a month. This is yet another ghost Russian shop. And the problem is that Russians did this stuff already way before. I guarantee you that this shop occasionally opened already was in 2013 and might be also in uh, early and then that basically whatever they I have no idea what they have done inside of it I don't know I don't I have no idea how they did this but they gave me a total impression that um, the shop across the street existed already since 2005 and on this side of the street the shop existed for no more than two or maybe four years something like this and it was exactly the opposite. Lady tells me our shop was the one that existed six years and the one ex across the street open is open only one month. Now you have it. You know the scenario that you're told by the Russians and it's exactly the opposite of what they tell you. And on top of that, the store across the street was the one that is open only one month. So this is, this is what the ghost shops can do. This is how that's done, basically.
malo novije. Ali tam teško je bilo odeze sve tem. They had shops like this, they set up the shops like this that give me an impression on the other side of the street that we walk here, we walk here and this and that. Don't you remember, don't you remember and this and that. And we told you and tra la la la. Frustrate you, basically frustrate you. If you're not going to remember, then it's going to be this. If you're not going to remember, then it's going to be this. <laughs> They used to sell alcohol in that shop. How they have done this with the alcohol shop? What is it? When you go inside of the store, in some stores, when you go inside, it's an easy thing to do. You put some clothing, some stands with the clothing, and you have people walking back and forth pushing you. When you're under MK Archer, you stand like a stupid. You stare down in the floor most of the time. Maybe you see some clothing somewhere here and there. Pushed back and forth, this and that. And yeah, you get an impression that this is an old clothing store. Don't you remember? Don't you remember? Don't you remember? And that's all there is to it. The next thing it's a setup. At least, at least I knew the scenario that Russians wanted me to see as the opposite way. They wanted me to see the, the, the store across the street as the one, basically same company, but across the street that was the one that was open for I don't know how long and that this one here was new. Uh, the one across the street 2005 and this one i don't know what i said 2015 or 2017. so at least i knew the scenario uh of how they try to brainwash me with in the end i'm going to tell you exactly how i see this kind of a setup is obviously a setup and what can you do about it? What this kind of a setups have in common in my case, I'm going to give myself for every one of them 50% at least. They are neutral because every store that was not there, every store that was not there, I did not go and straight ask people whether the stores existed or not because I couldn't find them in the memory. And that's a, the best proof that these were a setup stores. That's what all the stores that were setups had in common. These stores are basically neutralized by my walking around back and forth, twisting my head, why I cannot find them. On what after one hour or so, or two hours or so, I return back and I ask. When I basically convince myself with the lies, with this Russian lies that somehow they did exist. This is a problem but it's an excellent proof because all other stores are identified basically immediately and with a hundred percent certainty so none of the stores that i have missed today none of the stores that were russian setups would be counted as that i would not know what i'm talking about in fact i even know the people the actors which they worked on other locations in other stores or uh, people that were inside of the store at the time uh, used to set me up uh, with MK Ultra scenario with a lie where even they live, basically even their locations. And I also, for the store that I have made a mistake about, the alcohol store, uh, which I have mentioned earlier, uh, I said nasty store, and I apologize for that because why it was nasty in my head because I always expected it was a spozhivchi I always expected it was a food store with alcohol inside but when we came inside it was always was stinking it was stinking because it was a food animal food was there and it was not nice with these bags and so on I was never impressed by going in the store so I just didn't want to go to that store but I also didn't you know they had to uh, I was not interested in this kind of stores, okay? 
So they had a hard time also keeping me inside of that store. It was also like this. It was not a nasty store. It was a good store, good owners, good people in this store before the alcohol shop came. But in my head, this always was, this was the only store that in my head always was a Spozhevchi uh, food store with uh, some alcohol and stuff like that, which eventually then he, it became, it became this kind of store. Okay, so none of the stores today that you're going to hear, it would be like considered as that I would not know what I'm doing because every store, even the store that I would not identify, I would be confused and it would even take maybe two hours before I would return to the location to ask about what this store was actually according to the Russian lies and so on. 14 stores All identified about and I'm going to no, give you... No way that the Russians would do stuff here. Um. Uh, at this point, I kind of lost it at this point because I, I am very, very disappointed uh, because the police said, uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, it would be like, uh, uh, when you're going to be doing around the police, then you're going to see uh, uh, on other locations, it was like this but around the police it was like that so at this point this probably was another russian lie <laughs> probably imitating the police alone and so i am i am just uh, you know they designed this in a, such a way that they would just destroy you i mean you're gonna see you're gonna see the stuff if you would not be insulted and you would you know possibly even create incident imagine somebody tells you under mk ultra uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a business card uh, and then I'm going to take that business card away from you uh, and I'm going to do this so you will um, you will see yourself like a mentally ill and stuff like this and then they do that kind of a stuff to you in real time like and say like you're confused and stuff like this I, I tell you what that kind of a stuff could be really hardly taken Okay, the people would likely do incident like this. It would be, you know, um, especially when the lady is involved that you remember her from 2005. She was employee in the store as a sales lady. This kind of a stuff is, folks, this kind of a stuff, uh, I'm telling you. And, you know, you just got to keep a smile on your face and thank you very much. Walk out and, you know, go about your business. Ruskis, uh, which again, I don't like to use this word. This is just horrific. This is just horrific for me to go and do this kind of stuff, actually. Um, please understand that Russian politics, this, this is so primitive that never ever was as primitive as this. And I have a hopes this is this things are gonna change over there in Moscow. This this isn't gonna this cannot last stuff like this. It can't be like this. I don't know how it all started. Uh on the first place, I think it started through my case. I think that Putin used me to convince people in Russia in Moscow that this kind of a stuff is actually necessary. Through the lies, I think that he brainwashed them. I think that he, he lied and lied and lied and lied to this Russian people in Moscow that they finally started. On the other hand, made me upset that I started to insult people and stuff like this. And the whole thing just went out of the proportion, proportions. And that's why I'm saying that people in Russia, they got to grab this guy for the balls. Because the Russian reputation is going down like this. With this kind of politician, this is going to be the country that is going to be so alienated like no other country in the world ever was alienated like this. This is inappropriate okay. politic and inappropriate conduct for a big country like this. It's a shame. It's a disgrace, basically. That's how I see it. Is. Thank you.
Tam jest nowe, tam jest starsze. Ja tylko stawię inne zobacz, tam ma pan spodnie męskie, a tutaj tylko bluzki. Aha, aha, aha. A ile, 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 no to dwa tygodnie. Dwa tygodnie, tak mm -hmm. nowie. Tak nowie, piękno. A drugi na drugie strony. Oj, tam też jesteśmy trzy lata. Od 2017. O nie, trzy lata już. No, trzy lata już. No, to było dwa lata na zaraz, było 2017. Okej, okay, um, bardzo dziękuję. Okej, okay, um, I go back to that store just to verify that the lady I was inside did not lie to me because I'm so brainwashed under MK Ultra that I, I'm just completely confused. So I go back inside of that store and now I ask the lady, can you please tell me uh, how old is your store really? And she tells me my, my store, she confirms the claims of another lady that I have just spoken to. Our store is here just two weeks, not even a month. It's only two weeks. It's a ghost store that was set up and the store across the street, that one was, I don't know, she says, Trilata, 2017-2015, basically, to, from since 2015. So this is this is a real a real cluster they created. Okay. Okay. basically taking that lie for granted that police you know um, it was not a police officer who told me this no way it was a police officer you see this is dangerous dangerous this 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 is dangerous because you see i said police and you can hear me you're gonna hear me again and i'm gonna be i'm all pissed off with the police i get i get like super agitated with this Gersh police and which is basically the idea of the Ruskis is to basically break me apart on every sense make me alienated make me enemy with the police make me enemy with you know turn me against everybody basically it's a lot of stuff questionable what you know there you have me basically several times you're gonna hear me being very upset now with this Gersh police because what's happening is when it, imagine somebody tells you under MK Ultra that's right on other and uh, other locations they did stuff like this with you but not around the police now let's go and do it you see not around the police not in the street where the police is and now all these lies all these brainwashes they gave you you think even more so they are real you see this is super cluster lie that is a real trouble because now not only they meddled the same like they did on other locations they did the same thing but they're actually using the lie that police is here and they sure enough couldn't do that kind of stuff you know this is difficult and it is the same thing they did with this military place with this gentleman here uh, at immigration, um, a security officer who also works at the military facility, very much wanted to help me out. And it was about, uh, I wouldn't do this uh, around the military location. Ah, boy. This is difficult because now you actually take the lies you were told as something that could possibly not be because it's a police then you get pissed off because it's not the police the police okay, allowed uh, it's in your head i will explain in 2007 it's a mess. When i was brought here This can be a real mess. This is a much bigger mess than what you possibly can imagine. What you can mess a person like this with this kind of stuff. And on top of that, you have a police officer at the police station, as I have suggested, whose son is in Norway and was one of the first police officers that got involved in this case. And 
had influence with Norwegians negotiated that somehow they would give this case to the Poland so it would help Poland so the Poland would get the money so financial assistance if you like so it would be it would benefit Poland you get it just that this gentleman is one of the best people I have ever seen but the problem is he doesn't know what Ruskis told me and so he does his little trick because he wants me to go and do this street too he wants me to go around the police station too but he doesn't know about that kind of stuff and so yeah this is not so easy People want to help you and look how this thing can turn around. They started very carefully. Ruskis studied this stuff very, very carefully, everything. It's questionable also if Americans did not record it themselves and give them audio recordings for an unspecified amount of this. God knows what went on. And again, of course, I'm not saying about all Americans, because for most part, these people had the best intentions for me possible, but is enough is one or whatever. When you're talking on the street, you don't know anyways who is recording you, what. All right, let me see this again. Okay, so store I have made a mistake. The two stores, the same company. From that store, I have returned back to this store. This is again the store. This because I did not recognize. I didn't recognize not this one, not that one. And all the time, what I did was I didn't go inside, and instead of that, I would walk around and walk around and walk around and think and think and think and the problem is the more you walk around the more you think the more these lies uh settle in your head the brainwash and you get in a trap and that's basically how i got again in a trap uh let's go with this one here this is finally the confirmation that here's what she does here you can hear the gentleman the gentleman i'm going to repeat what i told you earlier now he comes to the store now he is waiting for me in the store and as i come over there he is measuring his um you know after shower uh, i don't know how you say that um like a pajama type of just that is you take that after the shower like a dry clothing that you take and he's measuring one and i see myself literally uh, I see the gentleman and the gentleman is a Polish guy who used American dialect, speaks very good English uh, and was used by the Russians to do this kind of dirty trick. Is about 1 meter 90 tall and I'm going to eventually identify his building. If not his building entirely, uh, the gentleman lives in about, I estimate, at least fifth floor, something like this. He is quite high uh and it, it he is located on the left side of the duga street uh, excuse me on the right side of the duga street further down from the police station while he alone was trying to lie to me that he is on the left side and so i'm gonna try to point out exactly the location of where he is when i'm gonna go through the google maps or whatever i'm gonna go there personally to 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 see if I can recall that way better, maybe even his residence, like I did for other people. He is over there now, and according to MK Ultra, when you see me, 